Hey, what's up? Hey, before we jump into this crazy Twitch ad stuff, I want to let you know we released a brand new Stream Beats track this week. So it's a piano version of What If, and it has Foosley singing on it, just like she sang on the original version like a year ago on the Rock album, but it's released on Spotify, Apple Music, all the music services. Also, we've completely revamped the Discord server, so if you're looking to find some gamer friends or you just want to take part in the secret streams I've been doing over on the Discord, link to both the Discord server and the new Stream Beats track in the description down below. Twitch ads. Twitch is planning a complete overhaul of the ad experience on their streaming platform, and that consists of two main differences you should be aware of. Number one, how much the streamer is getting paid, and two, how many ads the viewer is going to watch. Well, I did the math for you, which was surprisingly difficult, not because math is hard, Guys, I took calculus. If you think math is hard, you probably just have strengths in other areas that make you unique and awesome, and math has zero bearing on your value as a person. You're fantastic just the way you are. But this math was hard because Twitch kind of refuses to give out all this information. Like, Twitch is kind of notorious for this stuff. For example, YouTube gives out 55% of its ad revenue to the creator. Twitch gives out, but well, we have no idea because they won't tell us until today because I did the math. So look, hit the like button, it's free, and it helps out the video a lot. And also while you're down there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's do some Twitch ad math. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN, who have given me, and hear me out here, an 83% off code plus three months free. So if you've been meaning to pick up a VPN, now might be your time. Surfshark is a trusted VPN to help you protect your privacy online, whether that's protecting yourself from malicious websites, or if you're on a public Wi-Fi connection, you can keep your info on lockdown. Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, allowing you to surf the web safely. Plus, it lets you change your virtual location. So if there's an anime on Netflix that's only available in Japan, guess what? You're in Japan. Or you want to use Disney+, Plus, but it's just not available in your country yet. No worries, you live in the States. Everybody knows that, except nobody knows that, because you're protecting your info with Surfshark. So pick up Surfshark at the link down in the description below and use code ALPHAGAMING to get 83% off and three months free. Oh, and they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So there you go. Cool, so let's give a Cliff Notes version of what these ad changes are. Very soon, they'll be rolling these out to not only all partners, but also affiliates. Twitch will be increasing the ad revenue share from whatever they've been giving to creators up to 55%, which I'm assuming they're doing it to be on par with YouTube. However, the caveat here is that in order to get the 55%, you have to enable two things. One, you have to run three minutes of ads per hour. And two, those ads have to be automated. If I can be real with you, I think on Twitch we're about to see a lot of clutch gaming moments ruined by automated ads. Like this wouldn't be a big deal. I actually think three minutes per hour is a bit excessive, but it would be fine if the creator could choose where it goes. Like I think creators should take a three minute break every hour, go and grab a drink of water, go to the bathroom, whatever, play an ad while they're doing those things. It makes a lot of sense. But in order for this to work, in order to get the 55%, it has to be automated. And that's a problem. But is the problem worth it? Are the streamers making enough money to offset the inconvenience of these ads? Let's go over the math. And by the way, all the math we're doing right now is entirely based off what we can extrapolate from the offers that my viewers sent me during my live stream this morning. If you didn't know, by the way, I stream on my personal channel here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Harris Heller. Link to that in the description down below. I stream like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. I'd love to see you in there. But I had you guys send me screenshots of either your offers or offers that you'd seen so I could see what the offers were. I could also see how many hours you'd stream by looking up your channel on twitchtracker.com and we could do some math there. There are gonna be some variables. People got a lot of different offers, but one creator in particular sent me a lot of information. It is our friend of the channel, Nutty, and he so kindly gifted me all of his private ad info so that I could do some math for you and we could all learn from it. So you can see, if we look at Nutty's offer here, this is what Twitch offered him to run ads on his channel. That middle offer is for running three minutes of ads per hour, which is on par with what's required for the 55%. So we're gonna run with that one. They're saying if he streams with that number of ads for 48 hours the next month, he'll receive $228. Now, given that this offer is based off his previous month's streams, all we have to do is take a look at how the numbers differ from this month 
to last month, do a little bit of math. I've said math too many times in this video, but we're gonna do some math and we're gonna see what the increase has actually been. Assuming that $228 is 55%, which it says in there that it is 55%, we can figure out what percent he was receiving before. And Nutty shared with me that last month he streamed 56 hours and made $72.56. I can also tell from Twitch Tracker that he's averaged on the past three months 163 viewers. Let's first do some math on the basic principles of how much he makes per ad. So for example, on YouTube, we have something called RPM. If you're monetized on YouTube and you can see your analytics, you'll find something called RPM. It's right front and center. And that lets you know how much money you make per thousand views. For me, my RPM is between seven and $8. That's a thousand people watching my videos. And considering my average watch length is about 50 to 60% of my videos, and given where I usually place my ads, that means that a thousand people have usually watched two ads, a pre-roll ad and the first mid-roll ad. Those two ads, which probably are about 20 seconds of ad time, multiplied by a thousand viewers, are what get us that seven to eight dollar mark. If we look at Nutty's revenue for the past 30 days, which is $72.56, and we divide that by the number of hours that he's streamed, which is 56 hours, we will find out how much he makes per hour or per three minutes of ads, which is how many plays per hour. So for three minutes of ads, Nutty makes $1.30. Now that is 163 people watching three minutes of ads. If we were to do a little bit more math and convert that to 1,000 people watching 20 seconds of ads, Nutty's ad rate compared to my ad rate, which again, mine was seven to $8 per thousand viewers, his is, 88 cents and that is with the exact same amount of people watching the same amount of ads youtube is paying out seven to eight dollars twitch is paying out 88 cents now i know there are a couple extra variables there in terms of whose channel the ads are on but that's about as close of a side-by-side -side comparison we can get now if we compare that to the new 55 percent rate that twitch offered which if you remember was 228 dollars for 48 hours of streaming i'll skip the math there put it all together, it makes that new rate 3.667 times higher than his previous rate. Meaning, Nutty was making 15% of the ad revenue compared to the new 55%. Remember, this is just one user's experience, that number can fluctuate a little bit, but that gives us a baseline. Twitch was paying out Nutty 15% of the ad revenue, and now they're offering 55%. Which, by the way, brings his new RPM, if we're talking about 1,000 people watching 20 seconds of ads, up to $3.23. That is considerably higher than the 88 cents that he was working with before. It's still considerably lower than the seven to $8 that I receive on my YouTube channel, but, it's a step forward. So if we can run with the assumption that ad rates will be at least relatively similar across like mid tier and low tier streamers, like everybody except for the Pokemains, we can figure out how many viewers a streamer needs to have to make a decent amount of money. So let's talk about that. How many viewers does a content creator need to stream to in order to make, let's say a thousand dollars in a month off of ad revenue. Assuming someone is doing this full time, so they rely on this money, they're working 40 hours a week on their content, that's 160 hours a month. Let's say they're streaming for more than half of that. They still need to make long form content and short form content on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and everything, but the majority of their time is spent streaming. I tried to find a good solid number by looking up as many streamers as I can. The best I could come up with is about 100 hours of the 160 hours spent working is streaming. And I think that's fair. I hope I haven't lost you yet. Just hear off this next statement, it should clear a lot of things up. For a streamer who streams 100 hours a month and plays three minutes of ads per hour, therefore receiving the 55% ad revenue split, that streamer will need an average of 344 viewers in order to make $1,000 in a month. That means that a streamer who streams for 100 viewers is going to make $290 of ad revenue in a month. That should make math pretty easy for you to figure out how much you're gonna make in ad revenue a month based on your viewership. If you stream for 10 people a month, you're gonna make $29, assuming that you're running three minutes of ads per hour and you stream for 100 hours a month. If you stream for 50 viewers, but you only stream for 50 viewers a month, you're gonna make $72 after a month of ads. Now again, I, I just wanna reiterate, this is based off a very small sample size of Nutty, as well as the other streamers that sent me screenshots of their offers. 
offers. This is the best that we can come up with because this is all the information we have. However, based on the information we have, these numbers are accurate. And I would just like to point out, I've been hesitant to do this because I'm trying not to turn this channel into an anti-Twitch channel. But Twitch makes it so hard. On the live streaming platform of YouTube, things are similar, but things are also different. Everybody gets 55% ad revenue. Regardless of whether you put three minutes of ads or you never play an ad or you only do a pre-roll ad at the very beginning and then you turn them off, you are making 55%. No automated ads, no mid-rolls, whatever you want. In fact, on my stream, I have ads, but I turn off unskippable ads. So the worst thing you're gonna get it's five seconds. We tested it out on stream just to make sure I ran a couple mid rolls and they were all skippable to every single person. But I digress. How do you feel about the new ad rate as well as how do you feel about the three minutes per hour requirements? Is this something you're gonna be running on your channel? Do you have an opinion? Put it down below. Do you not have an opinion? Throw an emoji down below, your favorite emoji. Add some engagement to the video. Helps out a bunch. And while you're down there, hit the like button. If you got this far, you obviously liked the video. So anyway, Hope this helped, hope you learned something, and as always, happy streaming.